Time for potentially yours. Lisa Bernard from the Dane County Humane Society is here with our pet of the week. And what a cutie he is. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Who do we have here? This is Apple. Oh, my goodness. He's already the apple of your eye. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> he's going straight to my heart. Uh, tell us a little bit about Apple. So Apple arrived two weeks ago on a transfer from Alabama. And we're looking for a new home for him. He arrived. Uh, I'm sorry. He's three months old. Uh, playful, a little nervous at first with new experiences, goes really like uh, slow and low when investigating, but he's still curious, which is good. Uh, so just helping him build that courage and be like, yes, this is a good thing. Uh, and giving lots of treats because <laughs> we know that treats are yummy. Well, we have a big monitor here on the side of the studio, and I think he was like looking as, wait, is that me in the, that is you, Apple, that is you. He was watching <laughs> Mr. Food earlier, and I was like, you're going to make that for me, right? Oh, my gosh, yeah, he's <laughs> wanting all the extra treats. So, I mean, looking at the paws, he's going to be a big boy. He is. He's going to be a very big boy. At, <laughs> oh, you can't have that. That's you not You can't a eat the mic. Um, at just three months, and he's already this big, so he's going to grow up to be a big dog we think uh he's uh possibly a shepherd mix is what we're leaning okay. towards uh super friendly very sweet very snuggly he's gonna be a lap dog for a while too because when we were out in the waiting room he's just like i will lay in your lap i could tell so, he, he likes to be comfortable yes yes and he likes his toys too uh he gets a little too wild with rope toys so okay. we're gonna stick to other types of toys like balls and stuffies and stuff so so what kind of family do you think would fit apple well uh any family who wants to work with a puppy because he's going to be needing a lot of training uh he's starting to get a little more comfortable so he's like oh let's check out what it's like to teeth on you a little bit and teaching him that teething is not okay on people but it is okay on toys uh <laughs> my breakfast will still be on my hands <laughs> <laughs> uh, so someone who wants to work with him, and it's a great time to also form that bond as you're working together on training. Uh, he would be great with kids, too. He did meet some kids at our recent <laughs> grand opening of our, thir of our thrift store on the east side. Yes, yeah. And he was very interested in meeting them and curious about them. Um, and did really well with them. So he's a little lover boy. I can tell you that already. He loves to give. Oh my kisses. gosh! Everyone at the shelter adores him. <laughs> I bet. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for thank introducing you. him. We appreciate it. Let's get him adopted. Remember, there's still time for you to get your ticket to the best tailgate in town. You can join the Dane County Humane Society on Saturday, September 21st at Bark and Wine. You can tailgate to celebrate the oldest rivalry in history: Team Cat versus Team Dog. Enjoy delicious food and drinks. Bid on amazing items in the silent auction. You can also join the scavenger hunt, meet some very adorable animals, and cheer your team on to victory. You can reserve your ticket for DCHS's longest fundraising event today. And last week's pet was adopted. We love to hear that. This is Harriet the kitten now has a home. If you are interested in adopting, you can go to giveshelter.org.